2004 R1150 RS and brief documentation prior to adjusting the throttle bodies. And here it kind of runs like shit. The balance is off slightly at idle. Horribly off under load. Actually, it's not all that bad under load. It sounds freaking miserable. Cable. Air screws should be one and a half out of the base setting. It's one and a half. That air screw is correct. Same on this side. One and a half as a base. One turn. One and a half. Two. Slightly more than two. These control your idle. Now, just over a thousand, which is good. I really don't like how stumbly this just seems. bit of play in that throttle body. Maybe this side's under too much tension. Oh yes, we have no throttle cable free play on this side. There's our problem. Somebody freaking misadjusted this side. This cable adjuster is up too high. This cable is too high. Too high. Cable's too tight, there's no, there's no free play in it. So, have to so despite the carbs being balanced, uh, this bike really runs like shit, and I suspect it was a bad stick coil because this boot was pulled back. So, testing it now. Um, plug is still in the cylinder. This is the plug, the original plug that I removed. So we should have spark here and the bike should run worse now that this is spark plug lead slash coil is disconnected from this spark plug that's in the head. Let's see, we have no spark. Bike still runs shitty. We have a bad stick coil. That's why this doesn't run good. And I'll verify that in a moment by taking the stick coil from another bike. So we take this, they pulled off an RT that's in here for extended service. Transmission rebuild most likely. And this is the coil we take out of from this bike. This one in now, put it back in the same place so we can see the spark in the shadow here. Key on. Hey, look at that, look at that spark. So in that case, let's take the plug out. Let's put this in the cylinder. Let's start this up. longer have that stumbling bup, 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 bup. it's running normally our balance is good and all is well um, you know these bikes are pretty basic and easy to diagnose We've got some time on them and uh, that's why I make these videos so you can figure it out for yourself a little easier.